All right, so I ordered another radio. Um, it was a pretty good price, and uh, it came with some extras. Uh, it was like a dollar more for the copy of the Nagoya antenna. Um, so let's check out this one and see what we got. I am unclear on the model number because there's a UVS9 Plus. There's a UV9S. So they're with the, uh, the letter S in a different spot. And some of them are rumored to be tri band and some of them are not. Oh no, they didn't give me a plastic bubble. But anyway, let's see what we got here. It says Bofang UVS9 Plus 8 watt antenna, red plus 771 antenna. So let's get it open. I try and always open these kind of careful. Um, this is from the uh, Abri seller on Amazon. I've had bad luck with some of the other sellers um, selling used stuff. And uh, I have not had any problems with them. So I will continue to order from them. Uh, first and foremost. Anybody else? So he's trying to open these because if you got to do a return, and there's no markings on the box, and um, so we had to return two radios at once one time. It's confusing. I'm also going to really be careful about returning anything on Amazon anymore because I noticed that uh, people are complaining they're just getting their accounts banned. So we'll need that. I don't uh, generally want to return things. I buy stuff because I want it. I'm a hoarder. I like to keep stuff. I don't want to test it out and send it back. All right, here we go. The uh, nice red radio. Hey, look. Imagine that. The battery is in plastic. It is not already attached to the radio, which indicates that this is a brand new radio. Also, those other radios that I received that if you watch my channel and follow, they didn't smell new, and they didn't look new, and they weren't shiny, they had been handled. Here is our USB cable. This is a big thing that I really wanted because it plugs into the side of the battery here. So that is very cool. Okay. Boing! Out pops the Nagoya copy. Um, it looks the same as this one. I noticed that on the other radio, the... Um, uh, tenon was a little greasy, indicating it hasn't been used. Um, this piece here kind of wiggled around on the other antenna. This one seems pretty firm. So, uh, I wonder how well these do. I usually, I'm not a serious power user. I prefer the short antenna. Um, normally, if I'm trying to talk long distances, I've got a radio in my truck that does... One's 75 watts, and another truck has an 80 watt radio. So, you know, I'm not going to really try and go long distance with a handheld. Doesn't seem to wiggle around, but it, it did when I mounted it to the radio. Anyway, so we got a clip here, which looks a lot thicker than the original uh, one. Let's see, it is. It's much thicker. It, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera it's about twice as thick that's pretty cool that's something we haven't seen before at least i haven't uh the charger looks exactly like the same piece of crap that you would normally get and i guess it has a model number on it which is a 480 10005es but yeah it looks like the same ones where i've had a problem and i've actually had to take them apart and repair them it is 10 volts at least uh, the lanyard um, the stock antenna now, I noticed that none of these antennas say Bofang on them anymore in fact I was on the uh, official Bofang website I don't even know if any of these are even legitimate Bofangs um, I think that uh, they might not even be made by them but as long as they work and they're not bad I don't really care we got that 
you know, kind of a nice new looking type of charger here. The model CH. And uh, there's only two tabs in it. And uh, that would be it for that box. Um, let's get this thing hooked up. So, yeah, if you get a radio and it's not in the plastic and the battery is attached, you need to contact Amazon because if you didn't pay for a used radio, you just bought one. So, do not accept used radios unless that's what you paid for. It actually looks kind of cool. The uh, knob is very cheesy, and it, uh, like other viewers have said, it definitely has some resistance to it. Um, the radio kind of feels cheapish, but uh, um, yeah, I don't know. I uh, I just uh, was looking for something to replace my old uh, UB5R. Uh, battery is big, bigger than I would expect. Um, interesting. Let's see something here. This claims to be a 2200 battery. This claims to be a 2200 battery. This feels a lot heavier. I think that the Welcome. original one. Welcome. Panel mode. Shush. So, we got kind of a different system on these. Strange. Not, uh, not wanting to fit on there. So this thing sticks up and you have to clear it first. So interesting. Panel mode. Sounds like a UV5R. Panel mode. Looks like one. Boy, this thing's stiff. Panel mode. Let's see if we can just pull up on it. I don't think so. Panel mode. Yeah, I don't know what I think about this, but, you know, there's a couple pluses. It feels pretty rugged on the battery, like they use a better type of plastic. That's metal back there. This little overhang here. Let's get our antenna out. Okay. Let's see if the antenna wobbles around like the other one. No, this seat's down there nice. The other one... No matter what I do. I don't know why. Holy crap, the whole thing's loose. <laughs> okay, this would be for another video. So, if you get a radio and uh, you notice that the antenna wobbles, check this thing here. Take something like this nail or a flat blade screwdriver and push on that ring. It is really loose. This could definitely cause a problem if you're doing use a snap-on tool on a Chinese thing. What a sin, right? Okay. Glad I noticed that. No more wobble. Somebody was in a hurry at the factory on that one. This one, not so much. They did a better job. It's got to get weight to it. It's actually heavier than that one. There's the Yesu. Um, it's kind of got a goofy shape. I mean, like, this sticks out here. And, I don't know. Um, and do you have to undo that screw to get to this? Yeah. Let's see here. Unless this is for something else.
So on this one, you can completely remove this piece if you want to, I guess. I guess that's cool. Uh, doesn't have the typical metal piece in there on the posts. I think this is designed with the uh, idea in mind that you can get a um, earpiece microphone that will screw to the unit, which this one will not do. I don't know anybody that's ever used those. Okay. Menu. So we got a radio here, and uh, we're going to pause the camera and go over to the laptop and see if it'll uh, read this. So I just looked all over the place and realized that this didn't come with a programming cable or a CD. And I don't know if that's what it was on the listing. It's a good thing I got this one the same day because I wouldn't be able to program this because I tried my old Bofan cable, one of these older ones. And um, I get this like uh, message that says, this is an outdated cable, it's no longer supported, see your manufacturer. So uh, Windows uh, has finally like blocked it to where you can't use it, which is really lame. I say screw Bill Gates, this guy's a piece of crap. So, let's go over here. Let me get this screen up here. Let's uh, go ahead and um, uh, close out Chirp. We'll reopen it. I can't believe they didn't send a programming cable. I thought all of these came with one. Okay, we got Chirp open. Let's go here. I got to plug the radio in. Well, okay, we got the radio plugged in with the cable from the other radio. I don't know what this one reads as. I can't remember. Download from radio. We're going to have to figure it out. Um, I don't think it shows up under Bofang, but we'll see. Bofang. This is a UV9. UV S9 Plus. S9. UV9R. UV9R Pro. What's the. Um, I don't see a UVS. Let's see if it reads it under the UV9. Uh, it says this is a beta version. Blah, blah, blah. Cloning doing nothing okay so it doesn't work under that um let's see uv 9r pro cloning got nothing um so i think that this comes up underneath some other particular radio uh the well, guy mentioned it somewhere I read about it. Download from radio. Okay. We got the 9 Pro. So we got this 9G. We'll try that one just for the hell of it. I don't think it'll work because I remember this being something else. So uh, give me a second while I consult the internet. All right. We pulled it up under Amazon and there, I think it's under the reviews. So click on the reviews. I'll be right back. All right, way deep in the comments, it says to use the UV 5R X3 from Raid Oddity. Um, so we'll try that. Okay. I think I remember somebody else saying something else worked too. Okay. But it definitely uh, wasn't. Oh, fine. UV. UV5RX3, click OK, and it is flashing, and it appears to be reading. So, that should help somebody figure this out, I would guess. Um, yeah, it doesn't come with a programming cable or disk, which is fine, because most of the time... Um, 
it's not supported. Okay, we're gonna go in here and I will save the uh, save as. Um, stock. And we save that in case there's some kind of setting that we need. All right. Now, let's see if we can uh, just program one thing to the radio. We'll go in here. One, four, six, five, two. I don't know if it's going to work like that. Error. Yeah. All right. One, four, six, dot, five, two. Enter the name here. Simplex. Okay. All right. Radio. We're going to go in here. I'm not going to show you how to use Chirp to put repeater book on here. I just want to see if this actually programs. So we're going to click upload to radio. That's the Radotity UV-53RX3. Now, there is a rumor that this does have 220 on it, even though it doesn't say it does. They have like a 5-watt version that's um, tri-band, and then this is an 8-watt that's supposed to be only dual-band. Um, I will uh, make another video since this one's getting kind of long and I will um, update you guys and let you know. So in the meantime, it looks like it's writing to the radio. So we're going to find out in a second. Okay. So we're in channel mode. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. And there is a radio behind me. So this thing's pretty loud. Okay, let me turn this down because it's cranked. Test one, two. Man, I'd say this thing's pretty loud. Testing one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Okay, so we know that works. So we found what will work to program it. I will update you guys and let you know if this does 220. Thanks for watching.